Hello and welcome to this part of Level Helper tutorial series. In this part, we're going to talk about the physics editor. Open an existing sprite atlas file or create a new one. Select one or multiple sprites and inside the physics inspector choose a body type. Click on the plus button to create one or multiple shapes for the selected sprite. You can auto trace concave shapes, which means points can be curved inward. You can auto trace convex shapes, which means points will only be curved outwards. You can create circle shapes and then change the radius and center by holding the control key and dragging the points. You can create rectangle shapes. You can even create shapes with holes by using boolean operations. First, create outer shape and then the shape describing the hole. Select the two shapes and from the boolean operations list choose XOR. You can also do difference, intersections and union operations. You can manually edit any shape by holding Ctrl key and dragging the points. Click on a line to add a point and then drag it to the required position. While still holding Ctrl, also hold Command key to add points to the selection. Right click to delete selected points. At any time you can undo your previous actions by pressing Command Z. Use Simplify to optimize any shape. Drag sprites in the view and simulate to see the behavior of your physics shapes. Enable boundaries in the level physics inspector to restrict sprites from falling out of a certain area. In the scene options, enable show physics debug draw to view how bodies are created inside the physics engine. Change the body shape and type from the level physics inspector without editing the atlas file for quick testing or different behavior. I hope you have enjoyed this part of the tutorial series. Have fun!